Hi everyone, welcome back to the best LRDS and series. This is Shubham Ranga from Team Prep Zone, and uh, I bring you back this best LRDS and series. Trust me, if you do the series very carefully, there is no way you are scoring less than 99 percentile in the so-called toughest section of CAT. Okay, I personally have scored 99.96, and I'm going to cover all the great sets that you must know before writing CAT exam. Also, if you need any sort of personalized mentorship, we have launched a one-on-one -on -one batch. Where I think I am only left with three more seats. So if you still want to be a part of the mentorship batch, you can ping me on the given number. With this, let's move on to the set 45. If you have not attempted the previous sets, I will strongly urge you to go back and start attempting at least one or two sets on a daily basis. All of them are available on the same playlist. Okay, and if you are new here, you have to pause the video, you have to attempt the set, and comment the time taken. That's very, very, very important. Okay, so with this, let's start with the set. Uh, this set is. Okay, let's start the set first. So exactly 10 persons A through J are part of the same family and they live in the same house. The 10 persons belong to three different generations such that exactly two person who are a married couple, they belong to the oldest generation and they have exactly two children, one of whom in turn has three children while the other is not married. Okay, and then certain information is given to us that what is the relationship and then we have to solve the question, which means it's a classic family tree problem while a question where we have, we'll have to identify who's the male, who is the female and who is who. So that three will have to map. Only then we'll be able to solve this particular question. So if you are practice enough, you'll be able to figure out how do you map, how do you make a tree map for the family, right? Which means it's given to us that it's it has a three generation. So let's say this is the generation one, where someone will be a male, someone will be a female. I don't know who is who that I'll figure out while solving this question. It has two children. One is married, one is not married. Okay, this is one person, the other person is married. Okay, I don't know whether this is a male or this is a female. Okay, but the one who is married has three children, say these three. In total, I have to have 10 people, but till now I have only two plus three, five plus three, eight, which means the only possibility is in the bottom generation, two children, the at least two children has to be married only, then I can have a sum of 10 because I can't have an, any additional number in any of the other layers. So this is the fundamental thing. Now let's start with the question. The question says F who is a male has two sisters, which means I have to have three siblings at a similar level. So this is only possible at the third level. Now, the only thing is we have to figure out whether F is married. If F is married, this or this will be F, else this will be an F. Now, I know out of three siblings, two are married, one is not married, and it says that only one of the sisters is married, which means there is a sister, there is a female candidate who is not married, and the other two candidates are married, so this is female and this is male. And the male, the name is F, as given to us as a part of this question. So this is done. The second thing is the sister-in-law of H is married to the son of A. Okay? And is there any other information? Yes, there's one more information that H who is a male is the uncle of C. Okay, great. So let's crack this part first. The sister-in-law of H is married to the son of A. What is the sister-in-law? Sister-in-law is H ka jo bhai hoga, uski bhai. So H will have a brother. His wife will be the sister-in-law of H. So it says that sister-in-law of H is married to the son of A, which means the person to whom the sister-in-law is married, that will be the brother of H, right? And because they are brother, they will have the same father. So H and this guy, will have our H and this guy or girl, whosoever this is, they are the, uh, so uh, yes, this is of course a male. So A will be their father, right? This is the relationship. Now the father children relationship is only possible at this level, at this level, but I don't know which one is who. So I will try to scan, is there anything else that is given in, to us for H and A? There's nothing given for A, but I have one information for H. It says H who is a male, which means H is a male. So two males at a similar level, it's not possible here. It is possible only here, right? And this guy is married. So I know this has to be H who is not married. This is a male and this is also a male. And I have A here, right? Sitting somewhere on the top, right? Also, the if, if I just try, read the another part, it says H who is a male is the uncle of C, right? Which means this is F, right? So at least either of these two have to be C, right? While C has at least one sibling, great. Because if H is an is, if H is an uncle, H has to be at this level, right? And then if he has a sibling, which means at least C has to be in this position. So I've also consumed this particular information. Let's see what more is given to us. While the brother-in-law of B, brother-in-law of B means B will have a sister, right? B will have a sister, and uh, that's why it has a brother-in-law is married to the daughter of B, and they have B as their uh, mother or father, whatever it is, right? And it is also given to us. So, see, the point is you don't start 
ओनली इन वन पॉइंट यू ऑल्सो स्कैन की आर और क्या इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवन है यहाँ पे सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे इट इज गिवन दैट बोथ बी एंड जी आर फीमेल राइट विच मीन्स बी इज ऑल्सो फीमेल नाउ टू फीमेल्स आर अ डॉटर ऑफ समवन विच मीन्स इट इज ओनली पॉसिबल एट दिस लेवल राइट विच मीन्स यहाँ पे कोई ना कोई तो बी होगा समवन हैज टू बी बी राइट एंड समवन हैज टू बी सी सो लेट सी अगेन की बी मैरिड है या नहीं वाइल द ब्रदर इन लॉ ऑफ बी इज मैरिड टू द डॉटर ऑफ बी राइट विच मीन्स ब्रदर इन लॉ ऑफ बी राइट विच मीन्स बी इज नॉट मैरिड बी की जो सिस्टर है वो मैरिड है राइट विच मीन्स दिस हैज टू बी बी एंड दिस वन देन हैज टू बी सी राइट and they are married to the daughter of d right which means i have to have a d here somewhere here d, i don't know whether d will be a male or a female but yes i know for sure that d yahan pe rahega right uh, so i have also consumed this information both b and j are female so this is married to this also has to be f now i don't know where exactly is j so let's wait it is given to us e who is the daughter in law of j now see i have already covered all the daughters here now the only daughter in law possible is either this or uh here but yeah see again don't just read half sentences it says he who is the daughter in law has three children which means he have to be here he who is the daughter in law which means he is a female so yes he has to be this who is a female and which means he has to be this who is a male and he now has three children and he is the daughter in law of j right and it is given to us that j is a female which means a has to be male and this one has to be j so a j e d h is gone b c f is done the only parameters that are remaining now is g and i right these are the only things that are remaining and this has to be a male great now it is given to us if i read the last statement that g is a female this means this has to be g and this has to be i this is so i think i have pretty much covered all the sets the only learning here for everyone is you don't read half sentence you read the complete sentence so that you can capture more information and then use that information to draw the tree map right i hope this makes sense to most of you and if there are if there is any confusion do let me know okay so let's browse through different questions now uh, first question is who is the spouse of c c ka spouse kon hai it is i right so it is option number c spouse of c right next question is how is d related to g d and g they are d is the father in law of g right so he is the father in law of g okay which of the following pairs of person live in the same house okay i'll come to this particular question let's see fourth first which of the following pairs of person represent a mother and a son in any order e b e and b e and b are they mother and son no e is female b is also female so they are not mother and son d and c D and C, D is a male, C is a female. No, uh, J and H, J is a female, H is a male. So yes, mother and son, J and H. Let's also see it. G and D. What is G and D? D is a male and G is a female. So it is daughter, right? So the only possible option is C. Now let's look at the a uh, good question. Third, it's slightly critical. It says which of the following pairs of person live in the same house? Now we know that all these that all of these ten people are living in the same house, right? let's see if they are a part of the same family or not so a part is i and the brother of i's mother in law i and uh the brother of i's mother in law i's mother in law will be this and iska bhai is not there as a part of this family right we have father in law ka bhai but mother in law ka bhai is not a part of this family so it's not possible b and the sister of b's mother b and the sister of b's mother again ski mother ka sister is not a part of this family so this is not possible a and the brother of a's father a and the brother of a's father a's father is not a part of this family so it's not possible the only option is d g and the brother of g's father in law g and g ka father in law is this is ka brother yes they are a part of the same family g and h so yes the answer is d I hope you guys have enjoyed this question. It was a great question, and uh, if you liked it, do let me know in the comment section. And if there is any particular topic that you're facing issues in, do let me know. Okay. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again very soon.